My name is Mark. Um, um, my guest is um, uh, Kathleen Russell and um, Sandy Barzma. Baraza. Baraza. Yes. Oh. <laughs> so, um, uh, Kathleen, um, how right there? Okay. have you been at Northwood Academy? How long have I been at Northwick Academy? I've been at Northwick Academy from the beginning in 1989. We started up in the fall. I was hired a few months before that and started to try to figure out what we were going to do and what we were going to teach and what we were going to learn. And so I've been there almost 25 years. And how did you find out about the school? I saw one ad in the paper. Um, they were looking for a director for this sort of experimental school, and it sounded really interesting, uh, like something I'd really like to know more about. So I went down and interviewed, and I, and I said to them, I think I could do this for you. And they hired me. <laughs> what is the some things your favorite subjects? Oh, favorite subjects? Oh, I have lots of favorite subjects. I like uh, poetry, uh, photography. Uh, I really especially like teaching cross-cultural stuff, history, um, science. I like all kinds of science. And uh, arts. I like all kinds of arts, too. So that's what the school wanted uh, to teach the students. And I'm very interested in all those things. So it was a good match. Why did you start school I mean, at Northwood Academy? Why did I what? I said, why did you start at Northwood Academy? Why did I start? I wasn't a student, I was a teacher, and they hired me to be the director and the teacher. What do you like about the school? What do I like about it? Oh, I like almost everything about it. Great students, really wonderful, motivated students. Not every teacher gets to have students that want to learn. Sometimes you get students that don't like to be in school, and the Norfolk students are there because they want to be there. They're motivated to learn. They're also working at the peak of their potential, which is really a beautiful thing to see. And um, it's just, it's just great to be able to develop my own curriculum when I was doing it and teach it in, in the ways that I wanted to teach it, doing all kinds of experimental things, um, bringing in all kinds of experiences, food and art and theater and field trips of all kinds. Um, it, was, it was a really wonderful opportunity for me as a teacher. Question for Sandy. Okay. How did you become a teacher? How did I become a teacher? Well, I moved here from Colorado and I, um, I had worked in schools before, um, but my background really was in social work. So um, this sort of put together a couple things that I had been really interested in for a long time, which was teaching um, with special populations. So um, this job fit perfectly. So. Um, I've, I've always, I've, I've loved teaching, um, and especially teaching at Northwood Academy has been very rewarding. How long have you been teaching? Well, I've been just the, during the time that I've been at Northwood Academy, and that has been um, four years. I'm working on my fifth year now. How, how did you find out about the school? Well, um, that was interesting. I moved here from Colorado. And when I moved, I knew that I wanted to do something different. Um, and it was right at that time that Kathleen um, was looking at retiring. And um, I actually knew somebody who was on the board um, who told me about the position. And I thought about it for a while. And then I applied and was interviewed. And, um, and that's how I was hired. That's how I, that's how I heard about it. What are your dreams and the school. What are my dreams for the school? That's a good one. I, you know, I, I have dreams for the school as a whole and I have dreams for the students sort of individually. Um, 
every semester that we're learning something, I want for you to go home and know something new about your world. So that's my dream for you all individually. But I really hope that the school just continues to grow and we can reach more and more students uh, with special needs who have a desire to go to college. So um, I just, I want to I wanna keep growing and expanding. I got a question for Kathy. Okay. Um, you remember the time we had uh, um, uh, it, at the Amish? Oh, we went to visit the Amish people? Yes. Yes. And I, I just wondering, um, um, what you experienced about that for Kyle? Oh, I thought that was really fun. We took the students. I think it was a summer school, wasn't it, Mark? We went down to... The group. Um, With the group. Yeah, we went down to Shipshawana or something like that. And and, that was fun. Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah, I did. And what did you like about it? Uh, I like that uh, um, uh, you took me and turned around and um, I saw that guy got hit by a car. Remember that time? Um, I remember an incident similar to that in Chicago, but let's talk about something that was fun at Northwood. What, what are some of the best memories that you have about My Northwood? best memories was that um, the, um, the glass boat. Oh, oh, yeah. Tell me, what did we do? Uh, we went to saw um, uh, the boat. We went on the boat, mm -hmm. and the water was um, knee deep. Mm -hmm. Where were you when it, you saw the gla when you were on the glass boat? Where? I, I don't know. What river was that? I, I don't remember either, but tell me what we did and what you learned. I learned about the, um, uh, about the Jordan restaurant <laughs> <laughs> about a restaurant and the you restaurant. had you probably had a burger I've, and fries I've, mm, mm, uh, <laughs> I I know I thought I was uh, on the top the top of the the I don't know what the, um, the it, it was way up I saw the the stadium I saw the um baseball stadium the football stadium the old ones oh is that the trip to Detroit was it the Detroit? Well, I'm not sure, but that's where they have old stadiums and things. But tell me something else that you really loved about Northwick Academy. Well, I like the pretty girls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what else? And I like my teachers a lot. And what classes did you like a lot? Poetry. Mm -hmm. Why did you like poetry? Because I'm the motions. Okay. Mm -hmm. I cry a lot. And when we had that uh, outing, we stayed in, in the, one of those um, dorms. Mm -hmm. And the first word out of you, Kathleen, why are you crying? Because um, uh, you told me this, um, uh, and you told um, her that uh, don't uh, um, take Patty out of the wheelchair. Well, tell me more about your poetry, Mark. You're a very, very mm -hmm. good poet. You have a very sensitive soul, and you put yourself out there for the world to see when you write your poems and you don't hide anything and you, you share your emotions so beautifully. Can you, can you talk about that and, and is that important to you to communicate your feelings in your poetry? I don't, I don't want to cry about this because uh, um, um, I told my mother that question mm -hmm. because the, the, the poetry I wrote it's her. Right. You loved mm -hmm. your mother. You went through a terrible illness with her, and she finally died, and there was a lot of heartbreak, and you used poetry to help you heal from that experience. Mm -hmm. And I, um, uh, 
I try to hold it in. I, the first thing I saw, my mother dying in my face. I didn't know what I was doing. My family was there, and I blew them out of the room. Yes, your poetry was so powerful. I did not, don't know how my, I had anger in me sometimes, mm -hmm. you know. I couldn't share that. That's why your poetry is, is so beautiful, Mark, because when you feel those emotions, the anger and the sadness, you have some beautiful poems and you put, you put it out on paper and, and it's a great expression of your feelings and you're very gifted and at that. And my feelings mm -hmm. are um, like... Uh, David. Well, okay, wrap it up. So what other fun things did you like about Northwick Academy? What were, what were some of the really fun things about Northwick Academy for you? I know the poetry was I had important, fun. but it wasn't fun I had, sometimes. I what had, were the fun things? The fun things, I had a girlfriend. <laughs> Her name is Vicki. Uh-huh. Oh, I got to wrap it up. Do you? <laughs> yes, we do have to wrap, but um, you, I have to say, were one of my favorite students from the get-go, and, and thanks for inviting me for this interview today. You know something? What? I miss all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And you too. It was fun, wasn't it, Mark? Yeah. <laughs> thanks so much. Thanks again. Hmm. Remember by Michelle Altina, I want to take a walk on the beach, feel, feel the warm sand on my feet, like a sunny day, the air is fresh. I smell the ocean. Remember my mom. What I like best is to learn new things, like we're doing here right now. I like to work on cameras. I like everything, almost everything. Oh, the teachers, my friends. Um, learning different kinds of stuff about countries and um, about their food and different kind of animals. The fact that there's something new each semester is not always the same thing. I like the girls a lot. All the different people you can meet and all the fascinating subjects. I like art stuff and drama stuff. I like the, um, the song of the school. We studied a lot about animals and oceanography. Is that when you get your grade point average though on all your assignments though, the decision is yours? I expect everything. Not Afraid by Elizabeth Slachter. The sun is setting on a graveyard in the distant future. On the ground, in a casket, I will lie. I'll be wearing my Hello Kitty hoodie and blue jeans with a picture of a, with a dragon picture folded in my hand. Out about the school. I found out um, um, I've been, it's been a long time, and I, uh, for, for 20, 25 years, and uh, I've been in the paper since I was at work and um, I uh, had an added the paper and they I think the editor did it. Okay thank you Mark. Janice how did you find out about the school? I <clears> found <throat> out about it from an interview that one of the Dominican sisters were interviewing Sandy and my mentor told me about it. Who is Sandy? Can you please tell me who Sandy is, please? Sandy is the teacher of the school. Okay, thank you. Mark, why did you choose to come to North Hall Academy? What's that? 
Why did you choose to come to North Hall Academy College? Why? Because I like it, and I uh, I like the girls, and for the um, uh, the other the other schools. Okay. So I like um um everything in school except I like I like the um the teachers. Which like teachers are these? Sandy and Catherine. Okay. And I and I didn't know Sandy didn't I know Sandy uh saying something about like he came from the Bronx. <laughs> okay. How did you find out about Sandy and Kathleen? I didn't I didn't know Sandy that long because um I um I was with Kathleen and uh um when I look at Sandy and I said, Wow, that's a pretty lady. <laughs> okay. Janice. Why did you choose to come North Holt Camry College? I wanted to get out of my apartment and learn new things and learn new subjects that I haven't learned before. Like what subjects? Um, study in Mexico. Okay, Mark. How did you? Uh, wait a minute. How do you like coming to North Holt Camry? I like it. And um, experience. How been, do you like the school? How I what like it. What do you like about the school? I like it very much. Okay. And I was a student then. How long have you been going to the school? About 20 years. Okay. Janice, how do you <clears throat> like coming to North Hulk Canyon College? Um, I, I enjoy coming here. I enjoy learning a lot about like the what? different subjects that are offered. Like what subjects do you like? Um, I like studying about the countries. Like what and kind of countries do you like? Like studying Mexico. Okay. <clears throat> Mark. Yes, What is your favorite subject? My favorite subject? Is going on a cruise. What kind of cruise? The Disney cruise. Oh, okay. And um, we um, had a lot of fun and spent time in the pool. Okay. And yeah. we got um, off the um, boat. Okay. I went to Mexico. Oh. And one of the stop signs. Oh. It says. Um, um, I know it says stop, but my, in the, in, in another language, we, s I saw that sign and I said, uh, alto, that means stop. Okay, Janice. Thank you, Mark. Janice, what is your favorite subject? Um, my favorite subject is art and drama stuff. Why is it art and why is it drama? Um, I like to enjoy the creativity from art. Oh, like, what kind of art do you like to draw or color? Um, or I like mm -hmm. to color, but I also like the creativity from art, putting things together. Like, what kind of things do you like to put together? Um, I like when I made the eye. Oh, okay. Mark, what kind of is, um what kind of subject do you like? I like blue because I'm Michigan. <laughs> okay. Hey. Thank you, Mark, for coming. Thank you, Janice, for coming, and thank you guys for watching. And this is I'm Terry, and this is Janice and Mark. Have a good Have day. Have a nice day. This is Mark's poultry. The ocean is a breeze from my soul. I meditate on the beach. I feel breeze through my body and feel the 
scenes around me. I sit on the rock and feel the cold breeze blowing. When I come back, I have to be quiet. I have to sneak in the house. Don't wake anybody up. The next morning, I, f I feel refreshing. Don't get mad at work and behave myself. I got involved with, um, by my caseworker and trying to get into a different school because other schools are not, um, like for people with special needs and I just want to find something with special needs. I got involved by a Dominican sister interviewing Sandy and my mentor s told me about it. Well, I heard it from Sandy Clybush. She said how they get to learn about things and stuff like that. And I'd rather come here to learn. I found out by a friend that I used to live with. My caseworker, for one thing. They told my caseworker about it and she applied for me because I want to um, be, I want to be in and to learn new stuff. Because I didn't graduate when I was a kid. I dropped out of school when I was in the 10th grade. I wanted to try college because maybe it's an opportunity of teaching. I was um, in uh, the Amish country with Kathleen. So let's begin with that. Well, I found about from my mom my caseworker. I'm dad, my caseworker. It said it'd be a great thing, and I could learn new things there while I was there. And I could learn new things and stimu be stimulated by different things that we do. I heard about the school through a teacher of mine. She was the one who asked my folks if I wanted to get involved in Northup. This is my 20th year. Oh, actually, I just got involved in 1998. That's where this year I started. I originally was going to a class in Grand Rapids that was for learning disabled, and we went to North Hook to uh, learn about it. My mother brought it up again about me possibly going, and they said that there was a new teacher, and I decided to go and ended up liking it. <laughs> 